Welcome back to Site Tech Inner Mountain Roadworks training videos. I wanted to show you the first Roadworks mill that we set up here at Inner Site Tech Inner Mountain. We're out here at the Salt Lake Airport where they're reconstructing it and actually changing some stuff out here. We're actually milling for a company called Staker Parsons. This is a short apron that we're doing. We've just got a couple total stations set up. We got our machine control, which is the higher one, and our smaller one, which is our grade check gun. We're gonna go ahead and start milling an apron over here. And this is the mill that's been set up. It's for a company called Cold Water Milling here in Utah. They got the first one. They're over here rebuilding the Salt Lake Airport. So they're constantly changing these approach slabs and aprons and stuff out here. And right to our left is the Sky West building. So this is where they actually run some planes over to work on them and do their ease like that. So today, we're just doing this small area from right over there where the corner is, right through where the mill is here over to this area right over here. With this mill here, it's actually a Verkin. Uh, I say Verkin because it's got a W, but they call it Verkin. We actually set this one up to where it's up on the canopy here. Their canopy comes because this is kind of a factory 3D integrated system, so we, we plug into it. We actually set it up to where we measured it with both mass options, so we can run UTS right or left. Right now we picked the right side obviously because of where our total stations are. We actually ran the TD540 screen off to the side right here, and here's our model. And our model of our apron, we can actually build cross-section view. We've already benched the machine in, that's why you see this cut right here. What we did is pull the elevation on the ground right here. We've already set down and touched in and benched in the mill. So we came down, nipped it in the concrete, went ahead and benched. We opted to run an external antenna. You can see the antenna right up top there. We don't mount the actual radio. Our uh, our 22.4 megahertz radio up top there. I've learned a long time ago not to do that. So our radio is in this panel back here. We run an external antenna up to the top right there. There's plenty of clearance here. It goes up pretty high, almost the same height as if you would have been running the old mast on it to clear the belt and any of the trucks. It's just an ongoing problem anyways. Now on the working, this one, we originally plugged into the 3D plug that was factory right here from the system but we never got the autos to work. So we did put our sensor on the side of the body right here as close to the drum as we can on a bolt or a bracket that's already on there, angle iron from the factory. But we ran our wire, one over here to the TD540, and the other one runs back here. It comes in right here where it says 3D. So this is the plug that we had to run into in order to get ours to work. Once again, you're never going to see the cut or the uh, manual auto here. They basically turn the autos on on this system right here, and that's where you get that to work. So we've already benched. We're verifying grade. We went ahead and went in and benched the machine. You hit your total station right here, and there's a bench button at the bottom. So we've done that. We are good to go. We've raised the machine up. Now, you won't see the auto option on the bottom right here like you would normally see with an Earthworks machine. It's all done through their screen right here. They'll actually turn the autos on up here. So, we're gonna go ahead and start milling here in a bit.